Looking for the best family-friendly ski resort in Colorado? Look no further than Steamboat Resort. We just visited for our second time with our family and we brought along my mother and father-in-law and our three kids ages 9, 12, and 4. We had the very best time. So in this video guide, I'm going to share with you all of the details of our vacation to Steamboat Resort, including our skiing, our lodging, and all of the activities and food and so much more that we experienced in this amazing town of Steamboat, Colorado. And my hopes is that this helps you plan your next amazing family ski vacation. The easiest way to get to Steamboat Resort is to fly into Yampa Valley Regional Airport. There are multiple ways to get there. You can connect through Denver or you can get a direct flight depending on your city. We have flown direct there, but this time we did connect in Denver when we flew Southwest. It wasn't ideal. I definitely like flying direct, but it is still a super easy trip because you're only a 30 minute short drive to the resort from the airport along a beautiful scenic route that's easy to drive. We had the absolute pleasure of staying at the Steamboat Grand Hotel for the second time this trip. This hotel is absolutely beautiful and situated only a stone's throw away from the ski lifts, quite literally less than a five minute walk. It's so convenient. The hotel is extremely beautiful, so cozy, warm, inviting, all of the amazing things that we love, and it makes you feel like you are in a Rocky Mountain escape. The hotel has a bunch of different amenities along with ski rentals, restaurants, a pool, a spa, fitness center, and there's also so many different room configurations depending on your family's needs. Since this was a more of a multi-generational trip for us, we had a much bigger unit than we did last time. It was absolutely amazing. We had so much room to spread out. Everybody got their own comfortable space. The kids had the best time and everyone was super comfortable. In the description below, I'll make sure to link all of the lodging options that you have at the Steamboat Grand so you can book one that's best for your family's needs. The Steamboat Mountain area and base area has gotten a glow up since we last visited. As you can see here, we're walking out of the Steamboat Grand Hotel and right across the street is the base area ready for us to explore. Steamboat Ski Resort has 182 trails, 23 lifts, 3,741 skiable acres, and the highest elevation is 10,568 feet at the peak of Mount Werner. The terrain is for all ski levels, and the snow is described as champagne powder. It is a legendary soft and fluffy snow, which makes it so fun to ski on. There's also plenty to do at the base area, including multiple restaurants. There's now a new ice rink that has opened. You can also night ski if you want to. There's just so much to do and it's so beautiful. A super exciting addition to Steamboat is they just opened the Wild Blue Gondola. This gondola is the longest and fastest gondola in North America. The Wild Blue Gondola takes passengers from the base through the Greenhorn Ranch Mid Station to the top of Sunshine Peak and the time from base to summit is only 13 minutes long. We rented our ski gear through Ski Butlers, and let me tell you, it is a game changer when you are traveling with kids and doing ski rentals. They come straight to your accommodations and fit you for all your gear, and once you've got everything ready to go, they will have it all waiting for you at storage so you can just go pick it up and hit the slopes. So convenient, 10 out of 10. Another new addition to Steamboat is where you take your ski lessons. It's at the Greenhorn Ranch Center and it's at Vid Mountain and everything is just geared in a way for beginners and learners and it advances you as you get better and better. So it's all graduated and it's so awesome. My kids took some group lessons with the Steamboat Sports people and they are so amazing. They had the best instructors and they were so helpful. He also sent me videos of my kids and I could tell in just a day they were learning so much. They picked it right back up where they were from two years ago. After two days of lessons, my girls were confidently skiing green trails, were doing chairlifts, gondolas, all the things. They were honestly showing me up and I was super proud of them because they got so good. And I was so lucky to work again with Laura Fisher for my ski instruction. I worked with Laura two years ago when we went for the first time. I learned when I was 38 years old and two years later, we picked back up right where we left off. Laura got me working on my turns, keeping my skis parallel, and I got some more confidence on the slopes. I'm never gonna be some super advanced skier, but I'm so glad that I'm learning something new, trying something new and pushing myself. I had the best time with Laura. My husband and father-in-law went off on their own to ski while we were in lessons, but my favorite thing was that by the end of our lessons, we all got together and skied together as a family. It was so amazing to see the kids doing little tricks on the trail, and just doing this together as a family was super fun and so memorable. 
Our youngest is four years old and he got to experience a ski lesson himself at Mountain Camp. Mountain Camp is a ski lesson day camp hybrid for ages three to six years old. The kids program is a little bit different than what we visited two years ago, so make sure to check my description box for the most up-to-date information. Mountain Camp has their own little learning area where Logan got to master the pizza. There are lots of great dining options in Steamboat both downtown and at the resort. We visited Yampa Valley Kitchen as one of our dinners and it was absolutely fabulous. This is in the downtown area. There's something yummy for everyone on that menu. One of our other dinners, we went over to Ore House at the Pine Grove, which was an amazing steakhouse with so many other amazing options for everyone. We loved the vibes of this and the food was absolutely delicious. Check out the video description for more restaurant suggestions in the downtown area. We had lunch at The Range, which is Steamboat's newest restaurant at the base. The Range serves four different types of cuisines. Downstairs is more of like a food hall and upstairs is more of like a table service situation. We were feeling the Asian vibes that day and everything we had was absolutely delicious. Another restaurant at the base is Timber and Torch. It's so yummy, so good. The vibes in there are really cool. The menus got something for everyone and the food is delicious as well. We also really enjoyed having a few meals in our accommodation since we had a full kitchen. There's a grocery store nearby or you can order in. Now let's chat about a few activities for the non-skiers in your group. Tubing at Howlison Hill was so much fun. It's situated downtown and it was super well done. Everybody in the family loved it from my four-year-old to my in-laws. Not to mention, it was just a beautiful view of the mountain going down. You can go pretty fast, but it wasn't too much for everyone, including the four-year-old. I thought he was gonna be scared, but he really loved it. And here is just a quick view of me doing the entire run. Another great family-friendly place to visit is the Old Town Hot Spring in downtown. It's such a nice break from all of the snow activities. This part of the Hot Springs is at this recreation center and you can buy a day pass and go for yourself as a family and it's nice and warm. It's such a nice break, the kids have so much fun. There's also slides and things that the kids can do if you go between certain hours. We didn't hit the slides but we still had so much fun. If shopping and dining is your thing, the downtown area is only five minutes away from the resort and it's so adorable. I don't have the best footage of it, but trust me when I say it's worth a visit. Our overall thoughts is Steamboat is just as amazing the second time around as it was the first. We're so glad we were able to bring my husband's parents along for a multi-generational trip because it is super family friendly. There really is something for everyone at Steamboat, no matter your age or your ski experience. There's also so much to do off the slopes that you could spend lots of time doing so many other things. If you want more info about Steamboat, don't forget to check out the description box. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching.